Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here I'm taking a look at a concept design by Intel. So this might just look like a regular kind of two-in-one ultra flip. Here on the side, you can see that we have a little demo card poking out, and that is an Intel compute card. So this is a computer that is the size of a credit card, and it's based on modular design. So basically, you can take this kind of notebook and you can upgrade it over the years. Don't believe me? Let's just take a look at the settings. So it's running an Intel Celeron processor, the N3450. Now, how powerful is the Celeron? Well, let's just try to play back some 4K video. It looks like we're capable of doing that in the format that Intel's loaded here on this device. So this is just a reference design to showcase the concept of what's coming in modular computing. So the fact that you could buy this unit and then just a, a couple years later, upgrade the slot on the side. You could just pop it out and uh, maybe even put it into different devices that you have uh, around the house. Let's take a look at some of the other designs that Intel is showing here at their compute session in Taipei. And here we're taking a look at a device from Tablet Kiosk. So this is actually aimed at the medical field, so it is relatively thick. It's got a full-size Ethernet port, headphone jack, two USB 3.0s, and then this is the part that's actually interesting for the modular compute function. So they have the compute card right in behind here, and what's interesting about this one is that they've actually secured it in. And it's been mentioned that they did this because of thermals. Now we've tested a couple of the other ones that you can kind of pop out and we realize just how hot they can get. So having this tightly in so that there's no air gap between the heat sink module and the compute card I think is going to be really important for longevity. But this is just actually a working sample of something running on the Intel compute card. Now here we and here we have a slightly more traditional setup form factor with just a regular old notebook. If we take a look, again, we are running, let's head down to the bottom here, a Celeron processor. So they're mostly showing us the lower end uh, processors in the compute scenario. But there we have it there, just sticking out a little bit on the side. I have a non-working sample from Nextdoc. These guys are actually uh, trying to see how modular they can make a computer B. So here we have the compute card, and then on this side, they can actually you can actually remove what the connectors are. So let's say in a couple of years, USB uh, full size isn't the thing. You can just swap this out for a different module. So here we have a tiny little tower design running on the Intel compute cards. Now this is able to go up to seventh gen core series. Uh, i5 processor with vPro. So this is actually a 4K clip that I found on the unit so that we can we can really kind of see that this is nice and smooth. It's capable of some very decent performance. So in here we have the compute card in the back of an all-in-one. So this is actually a unit by Dell. We can just spin this around and see that it is also running some nice 4K content. And here we have another concept of a little desktop. Because the card is so small, you can definitely fit it into something nice and thin like this. Obviously, digital signage is one of the strong things they're going after. But here we've got a PSU, a couple of ports, Ethernet, display, HDMI, because this is capable of a lot of high-level graphics, even though the card is so small. So here's where the card would slot into the back, and then we even have additional ports. It's a tiny little PC that you can fit into the palm of your hand. So if you thought that this couldn't handle a lot of back-end cloud architecture, we have a tiny little server here powered by the compute card. Smart routers are one of the hot items of the day. With everything becoming connected, when you hear smart, you should hear unsecure. So having a smart router that has some intelligence to protect all of your internet at home things is actually quite a good idea. So you can think of how many routers you've bought in your lifetime. You don't want to have to pick up many more because now everything is smart. So the compute card can actually power a tiny home smart router to protect everything internet connected. Yeah.